What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the picking Pikachu or Eevee. It's just the beginning trailers. We're gonna be going over the US one as well as the Japanese one and pretty much going over and analyzing anything that is new that we see in these trailers. Now do note that this is coming after the leaks of Koro Koro, which kind of revealed this information. Also, if you wanna see my reaction to these videos, I'm have a link in the description also a link on top so you guys can check out my first time reacting to these videos now the trailer starts off with the trainer looking up at SSN as it's docking or sailing away which I gotta say looks enormous it looks crazy big I can't wait to jump on the SSN and get exploring in it hopefully they do expand upon how big it is because I believe in yellow it was just like two stories you could run through or three stories I could be wrong but it doesn't feel as big or as massive as it actually looks. Then we get a more of exploring Kanto with more than a few Pokemon running animations shown. Now, as you can see, we get Goldeen at first, then it switches to Psyduck, then it switches to Staryu, which I love. I think is the best out of the bunch. And then we get Poliwhirl as well, running behind the trainer. I think all of these look particularly very well done is how I would imagine all of them to be running. No really disappointment there i think again the star oddly enough is star you of these bunch but let me know your favorite running animation in the comment section below also right in the beginning you do see officer jenny standing next to a squirtle that we kind of seen already in cerulean city we've seen in front of one of the houses in cerulean city is presumably the one that gets breaking into if they do run with that story inside of these remakes we see the same cop with a squirtle now that's kind of reassuring to some fans especially me to believe that you're we are going to be picking up this squirtle probably in vermilion city and yes this is where all of this is actually going down in Ver vermilion city i'm probably saying it wrong but the city that you do your third gym battle in against lieutenant surge now before we jump into the gym i do want to stop it right here to show you guys that this building on the top left has a bow on top of it and initially in my reaction the first thing that came to mind when i thought about this this bow was Pokemon competitions because of how small this house is actually is I would doubt that this is a Pokemon competition building and I think this is gonna fall more in line with it being the Pokemon fan club that is originally there in the Pokemon yellow games and then we get more shots of the SSN we get inside what the chefs are cooking up in the chef's kitchen and I do want to note that you do see an item inside of a pokeball on on the floor of the SSN so maybe we will be seeing the return of pokeballs on the floor returning as items so you're gonna see a pokeball on the floor that's gonna indicate that's an item that you can pick up and interact with and then we get a shot of Pikachu and Eevee looking off at the distance on SSN and I gotta say this looks amazing I can't wait to actually do this inside of the game and then we get to meet Lieutenant Surge well re-meet Lieutenant Surge and see how he's gonna look inside of the game and he looks incredible Incredible. He has his own player animations, his idol animations, which is pretty cool. We get to see that he does, in fact, is rocking a Raichu, just like in previous versions of the game. And then we jump over to Team Rocket inside of Mount Moon. And I gotta expound on what I said inside of the trailer reaction. When I said that Mount Moon looks very dark, I mean, this area right here above Jesse, you can kind of see where it just goes pitch black. And maybe it's just because you're not supposed to be seeing this regularly outside of this close-up camera angle shot of Jesse but it just it's just one of those things that slips by in development that people don't take too much detail on actually fleshing out but it's kind of world breaking when you don't when you're in a cave and it's you don't see the walls of the cave or something like that or it's just it just kind of looks like it's end and it's kind of disappointing that the Pokemon company doesn't try to make this world filled as much of a world as possible and not just 
rooms and corridors and this screams oh it's the end of a corridor i don't know maybe that's just me that jesse and jane's battle inside of mount moon at least is going to be a double battle so you're going to be fighting both of these pokemon at the same time even if you're not playing with a assist character meaning just co-op and whatnot and then we jump over to again the reconfirmation of mega evolutions we've seen this in the core coral leaks the same exact three mega evolutions venusaur blastoise charizard x and charizard y i think it looks amazing we also get a quick pokey stop in the background inside of the the games and i think this has to be the first time we ever see pokey stops inside of any pokemon game so i do think that's pretty cool it does look like this just may be a background decoration and not something that's going to tie pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee to pokemon go and then moving over to the japanese side of the trailer we get more in-depth close shots of charizard and venusaur idle battle animations and then it goes into a very interesting shot of charizard choosing the mega evolution it wants to evolve into x or y giving you both options this is kind of drawn a lot of people concern a lot of people are drawing conclusions maybe there is no held items maybe there are held items in the charizard i is just gonna include both of them this time around maybe you just need to obtain these items and this key items that are gonna be in your bag so you cannot place them on pokemon who knows the ideas are up in the air there's no really 100 percent confirmation from the pokemon company on how exactly this is gonna work on their website they do note that you just need to have the mega stone keystone and the corresponding mega stone for the pokemon so so it is kind of up in the air until the pokemon company kind of confirms and denies if we're gonna get hold items if we're gonna be able to roll into the battle with being able to choose which charizard we want to use because again this is kind of what i would think anyway on the outside looking in on the competitive scene this is kind of gives a huge buff to Charizard because you could potentially run Charizard X or Charizard Y depending on what your opponent is bringing in if you were thinking about this in a competitive standpoint. I think of that as pretty cool but a lot of people may not because again in past games you had to actually dedicate to either one before rolling into battle. This will make people either scared or kind of confused on which Charizard their opponent is going to be bringing in and I think that's going to be fun, but again, is it might be game breaking. Who knows? So we do get the transformation animations, which look incredible. We see Charizard transforming into Charizard X, Charizard Y. We see Blastoise transforming as well as Venusaur into these mega Pokemon. Now, one thing that was brought up by a ton of people online is that Charizard, when transformed into this mega right here, didn't affect the weather in the battle there was no sunny day that was implied now a lot of people are thinking and believing that that would mean that there's no weather effects in a game and to, to be honest I would expect weather effects and abilities and stuff like that to be included in these games because we do get mega evolutions mega evolutions are something new that weren't implemented in the first generation when the first generation rolled around now you do know that Pokemon in the first generation in those games did not have abilities they did not have weather effects they did not have mega evolutions and stuff like that to me the fact that they're including mega evolutions would be the obvious yeah that they are trying to bring everything new from the battle system and throw it into these games so i would hope we do see that and this was just a showcase to kind of show mega evolutions inside of the pokemon games and not kind of showcase everything that would go on around surrounding that in the battles and stuff like that but let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below i think it's very particular that they do not show it not to say that it's not going to be in the game but i would hope that it is and that this is just a early build with it turned off or something like that nonetheless the mega evolutions look amazing and then we get more running animations or just the trainer running this time around through multiple places of kanto we get vermilion city again we get the road entering ss 
and again and I do want to point out on the top left we do see that the gym is blocked off by a tree now this will indicate to me that again we will see some kind of mechanic in the game where you have to cut down these trees I kind of did a video on that last time when we talked about potentially seeing these trees all around Kanto where we're gonna probably have to use an HM to cut it hence why the trainer is actually running through assets and before they actually show lieutenant surge because that's probably what you're gonna need to do first because that's where you retrieve cut at but I'm really hoping on the fact that there are implemented like pokey rides where you could just use them in that overworld and not have to worry about adding them to a Pokemon to actually use specifically but without them confirming or denying just like the Mega Stones we kind of don't know and it's kind of is up in the air right now then we get a good look of the inside of the SSN and again I can't there's nothing bad to say about how it looks it looks amazing to see it actually transform over the years and see that this is going to be the way they take it and then we set to see the inside of Lieutenant Surge G gym with the trash cans and all oddly enough two of the trash cans are painted certain colors now I wonder if this is to simplify the puzzles or maybe to make them more difficult or maybe that's just an aesthetic that is just there for these two trash cans right here I really hope it's not to simplify it, the puzzle because they were already easy enough but I am wondering on on how these colored trash cans are gonna affect the puzzles if they do anyway because who knows they probably are just cosmetic then we get the conversation between the Pokemon trainer and Lieutenant Surge and Lieutenant Surge looking like Lieutenant Surge like always looking pretty cool and badass like a military surgeon. Lieutenant Surge has a Raichu at level 26 we could see in the Japanese uh, trainer that you're playing with has a full party of six Pokemon one being level 25 and I would believe it's the Pikachu because it's the Pikachu in the shop eating that thunder shot and then we get introduced again to Team Rocket and what I love more about this Japanese trailer is the soundtrack that's attached to this whole Team Rocket team. It's pretty cool. And then we get a more inside shots of a couple of indoor environments inside of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee game. I believe this is the first time we've seen a Pokemart for the inside and it does look incredible. You see super potions, you see regular potions in the background, you see bottled water in the fridge, you see Pokeballs, you see Premier Balls. I think this is pretty cool layout for the Pokemart. Kind of simple, but at the same time it still looks very dope and then we get a inside of an interior that I believe is gonna be the house that Team Rocket is actually gonna break into because as you can see the table is kind of destroyed the picture on the wall is kind of tilt to the side as if there was a struggle inside the house and plus this is a Team Rocket section with them building the Lord Team Rocket I cannot read Japanese so I don't know what the guy NPC man is saying but you would think that this does relate to Team Rocket somehow in the original game Pokemon on yellow team rocket did break into that house so i would think that this is going to be the house in cerulean city that team rocket breaks into and then we get i would believe is mount moon in a team rocket member in there then we get an outside team rocket trainer throwing out a radicate which looks amazing then we get a inside of a cave with a team rocket member using the iconic zubat doing supersonic which looks amazing in this game i must say and then we get a look at jesse and jim James and Meowth. I'm just thinking maybe is Mount Moon, but it could be another cave later on in the game as well. Then we get Jesse, James, their lips moving, kind of weird, but also talking to the Pokemon trainer, introducing themselves. Jesse having the rose in his mouth as he throws the Pokeball is amazing to see, and then takes it out for the battle animation. I think that's pretty cool. And again, this is probably very early on in the game. You see Jesse and James both rocking Pokemon at level 12 and both only having one Pokemon that leads us to believe that we're not going to actually be battling the Alf in this game. Also in this picture you can see that Pikachu does have a heart on it in a different icon completely than the Butterfree icon that's next to it. This will leave us to believe that that's the blue icon is going to be the icon that you are choosing first or you know the Pokemon moves that you're actually selecting for and I would think the heart icon will indicate that that's going to be your buddy Pokemon. There's no way to actually tell if that's going to be the buddy Pokemon or the Pokemon is going to have an affection for you like we've seen in previous games, but I would think this will fall along the lines of it being your buddy Pokemon because we haven't seen that affection 
system where you where you can pet or touch other Pokemon outside of the Pikachu, outside of the Eevee. I think they want to do that because they want to make the intimate connection between the Pikachu and Eevee. But as of right now, it's up in the air again. One of the features that we do see, but we don't have confirmation from the Pokemon company. And that's going to be the end of the new stuff that we do see. It does end off with the ending battle animation of Jesse and James kind of making sad faces, weird faces, and then running off. And then we see a weird face on Pikachu, which is kind of hilarious. And I wonder why it's doing that weird face. I think it may just be annoyed at the fact that Team Rocket is bothering them on this adventure. Now that's going to be it guys for today's video. As far as the breakdown of these two trailers, let me know if there's anything I missed as far as new stuff that we've seen inside of these Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee trailers. Let me know what was the best thing that, what was the coolest new thing that we've seen from these trailers. To me, what have to be the Mega Evolutions, obviously, to see them in action is just amazing. In these graphics, they look beautifully done. I think the thing that I'm most curious about is what I'm, what we're always bumping into is that those trees you could cut down. I want a confirmation from the Pokemon company. Are we going to see 8 Sims return or are they going to be more in the style of Pokemon? rides like they were in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. Also, what's the deal with this Mega Stone XY choosing thing? Like, are we going to be able to choose both Mega Stones if we have one? Or is it going to be something where they just in your bag, you can just choose which one you want to actually use? Or is it going to be a thing where Pokemon can't hold items? So choosing a Mega Stone was kind of the easy solution to do, especially for Charizard. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on everything that we went over. Like always, guys i'm daddy i'm a fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one